right now we will try some LSD and now we need to wait like one hour, two hour uh, just to make just to take the effect of of this I like to be here because you don't need to be worried about anything you can go out at night uh, everybody is friendly uh, everybody is open-minded so uh, it's good I like it here on uh, Christmas they put some flamethrowers on the top of the of the fountain so it was like a Rammstein concert <laughs> I don't know why they did this, but it was glorious, it was epic. Portugal is really a good place to have the experience if you want to try drugs for the first time. Even if you're often user of drugs, you have so much liberty here. Coke, LSD, MDMA, weed, hashish, everything. It depends on quantities that you have, but basically the worst things that can happen to you, you're just going to some rehab to have some psychological help. And that's it. I'm a combination of a normal doctor and this whole psychedelic research world and I personally think that psychedelics are going to be a really, really important part of the future. Bristol's a great scene for psychedelics, it's a very liberal city. We've got the hippies, we've got the ravers, the graffiti artists, the music, the bands, a lot of very left-wing activist type activity that goes on here. In 1938, Albert Hoffman, a Swiss chemist, synthesized LSD and five years later accidentally discovered its potent powers. Ooh. In the 1950s, engineers at electronics company Ampex were approached by LSD visionary Al Hubbard and together they found that dropping acid could make their jobs easier. The engineers found LSD helpful in imagining structures as complex as computer chips. Even Steve Jobs said that taking LSD was one of the top three most important experiences of his life. I don't know why we call it a mouse. Sometimes I apologize. It started that way and we never did change it. The creator of the computer mouse, Doug Engelbart, is also rumored to have been under the influence whilst inventing this vital tool. In recent years, LSD researcher and revolutionary James Fadiman has provided context for a newer trend called microdosing. The major initial finding was that microdoses do not disrupt, but enhance normal functioning. Microdosing isn't about getting high. You take just a tenth of the dose, a few days apart, and although no proper scientific studies have been done yet, people talk highly about benefits like improved productivity, focus, creativity, and memory. Research is progressing faster than it ever was. So although we talk about the psychedelic 60s in culture, actually these are the psychedelic times now, this psychedelic renaissance that's going on. There's more people using LSD and other psychedelics than ever before. There's more people researching it. There's more doctors interested in it. The culture that surrounds psychedelics today is far more widespread than it ever was in the 60s. Right now we will try some LSD, uh, named also like acids. Um, this stuff is very small, it's just a quarter. You will get high even with this small amount of LSD. Um, the taste of it is horrible, it's very acid, but um, the kind of 
high that you stay it's pretty interesting because everything is make you smile and laugh all the time so we will try it right now horrible horrible and now we need to wait like one hour two hour uh, just to make just to take the effect of of this I do this kind of stuff like three four times a, a year and um, like half of this times half of this tries I do it for work other half is just for entertainment to go out to go to the disco something like this for the work I do it when I need some kind of concentration some kind of different angle of uh, of the problems that I'm trying to solve it really gives me another perspective of how I can apply my logic how I can troubleshoot the problems that I have or how can I approximate to the solutions that I need to, to implement the perception of other people knowing that you are doing this it's bad they thinking that you are completely drugged, you're a hippie, you're, you're not the person that, for example, should be working on their company. It's true. But I don't care, really. Uh, if my work is evaluated about how good the work is done and implemented, uh, it doesn't matter in what conditions I'm doing this work. The most interesting thing about LSD as a, as a drug is its sheer potency. The medicine induces this sense of cosmic oneness, this sense of being, this sense of connectivity. People feel as if they are connected with everything everywhere and that they have tapped into a kind of cosmic energy vibration that underpins everything and underlies all matter and life and time. I hope I'm doing a reasonable job of describing it because it is just by definition indescribable. It's a bit like if you imagine seeing a new colour that you've never seen and it's not red and it's not green and it's not blue, it's not yellow. There's no frame of reference with which to describe what it looks like. So that's how it is trying to describe tripping. There are no words for it because it's not part of our everyday world. So it's have been like one hour and a half since I have taken LSD. Right now I can feel the effect. I'm starting to notice much more colors around me and also I can understand that I have more attention in reading things. So basically I just start to staring at all my code and it's like I'm feeling it. I'm so much more concentrated in what I'm doing right now uh, that it's not common for me in my day-to-day -day work. It sparked an interesting debate within the psychedelic community. The old psychedelic community are thinking this is terrible because what we're doing here is we're creating this new tool for commercial industries to be more productive and sell more products using LSD as the tool to fuel greater productivity. Um, so you can see the, that how that obviously kind of clashes with the old hippie values of, of what psychedelics are all about. But you know, this is, this is how we are in this modern age and there are many ways of doing things and they all need to be explored and, and uh, understood and respected and not judged. On the majority of the cases, people are looking at these kind of drugs like the fun, going to disco and we will get high and let's party but I think only like five percent of these people are thinking about the benefits of it. How can you use to, to make it helpful for your kind of work, your kind of problems that you have. It doesn't mean that it only helps you if you're an IT guy, it can be helpful in other kind of stuff. I just know my case and I discovered that it's not just because of fun I can, I can have with getting high with LSD, but also the, in terms of how it can benefit me in my 
work situation and my work day and how I can approach the problems that I have and what kind of benefits that I can have with this. Thousands of developers find jobs across Europe using Honeypot. If you're up for a new challenge in one of these European cities, sign up at honeypot.io. If you want to see more tech documentaries, then subscribe so you don't miss the next one. Thank you.